can put boats, RVs, or any vehicles you like. It really reminds me of those uh, Hollywood style homes back in the 70s or 80s. How cool is it to have your own tent for? So let me show everyone what a real man cave should look like. <laughs> oh, come on. Cool is it? You get to have your own pool area. There's a partial bay view out here and it overlooks the Hayward Hills. Hi, I'm Alex Lau with the Tracy Tang team. Welcome to our latest listing in the Fairfield area of Hayward Hills. This home is located at 3649 Star Ridge Road in Hayward. This home consists of five bedrooms, four bathrooms, its own private tennis court, and a pool house, plus a warehouse. That's more than 1,900 square foot in the back. The lot size is approximately 1.07 acres. So there are many possibilities, especially now with all the California legislations that pass through allowing for ADU units or split parcels. So for starters, the first thing I noticed approaching this property is all the parking spaces that is in front of the house. Just from counting, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just six spaces without blocking the gates. We have two side gates, one on the right and one on the left. And the gate on the right is especially big. You can park boats, RVs, or any vehicles you like. So on top of the six or more parking spaces outside of the gate, inside, we have more than 15 car spaces right in front of the house and around the house. In the front yard, you will notice these very, very tall palm trees along with a very tastefully manicured landscape. It really reminds me of those uh, Hollywood style homes back in the 70s or 80s where you have the nice pool views and tennis court in the back and a huge palm trees and really nice landscaping. Coming to the side of the property, there's this huge piece of land for even more parking, more RVs, more cars. The landscape is really nicely and taken care of and nicely designed. How cool is it to have your own tennis court? Can you use it for a tennis court? You can also play basketball here. Actually, there's a potential for you to add a additional dwelling unit. So the possibilities are endless, especially in the Fairfield area. I noticed that a lot of the times, the land is not finished. It's unpaved, but here, much of the grading has been done. And you can just put in the foundation and make sure uh, you get engineer to check the soil is right, then you can build your home. That will drive the cost down by a lot. So let me show everyone what a real man cave should look like. <laughs> oh, come on. Here we have a warehouse that's more than 1,900 square foot. There's a road, uh, a paved concrete road uh, leading up to this area. So you can use this to build another unit or as a, add an additional dwelling unit in here. How cool is it? You get to have your own pool area. Here. There's a partial bay view out here and it overlooks the Hayward Hills. Talking about possibilities, right next to the tennis court area and uh, near the pool area, we have this pool house which you can convert into a studio, a recreational area, or just build another ADU right here. So as we step inside the house, we walk through these uh, double wide doors. Immediately, you'll notice how open this whole floor plan is. The stager has set this up to be a living room area. And in the back here, we have a dining room area, which overlooks the tennis court, and again, the really nice views up there. And you can notice every day, there will be plenty of sunlight coming in. So this whole area gets really lit really well by natural sunlight. Walk further down the room. This can be another breakfast area. Here is set up to be a family room. And the other thing is, walking out here, we will notice patios on both sides. The special thing about this patio is that it's enclosed and uh, there's a lock. Uh, there's a low wall, or you can keep your uh, pets here for a little bit. So next to the breakfast area, we have this uh, kitchen area, where there's a lot of cabinetry, pull-up drawers, and then we've got your gas stove, which in Hayward, you can't get any more because the city uh, won't allow gas stove anymore for new houses. So here is the kicker for the special part about this kitchen is Every day you're doing your dishes, you're looking out into Bayview, you're looking out into Hayward Hills, you're just enjoying this view. So here, next to your family room, you have your standard two-car garage in here. Here you have easy access, it's all one level. So even though this house technically has two levels, everything can be accessed on one level. Stepping out from the dining room area, we have this really nice balcony here, where it overlooks the tennis court on this side. And you see the beautiful Bayview down the Hayward Hills. You notice all the palm trees, adding greenery to the background. Since this is facing uh, almost true south, 
That means every day you can see the sunset here on the west, and on the east side, you can see the sunrise. After we entered the front door, on the left side is the living room area, and on the right side, we have the bedrooms area. Master bedroom features a lot of windows. The size is actually pretty good. Some people might prefer a bigger master bedroom. There are still plenty of options. Of course, um, with the square footage to expand this room as much as we want. But right now, we have a semi walk in closet. It's not too big, but definitely you can expand that into a walk in closet. Here, we enter the uh, master bathroom. Um, it's got natural lights coming in from Skylight, and it has been uh, recently completely remodeled. It looks very clean and nice. So on top of the uh, really spacious living room area, if you want to store things, there's plenty of closets to do that. Uh, right out here by the hallways, uh, we already have three of these similar size closets. The home was designed with uh, skylights and keeps the whole house really well lit. Here, we have a shared bathroom and it's also completely remodeled. It's got um, exhaust fans, plus it's got windows. Next to the bathroom is this bedroom right here. Plenty of windows, plenty of sunlight, it's really well lit. And you can step out into the balcony area. Uh, this is the third bedroom. The views are fantastic. We have uh, actually the second level. Uh, right now at the top of the stairs, there's actually a door that divides the main area from the lower level to bedroom area. Here on the left is a laundry room. On the right side, we come to the living area. Um, you put sofa. So there's still plenty of space. There's actually a bar area. We come into this uh, sleeping area slash studio area. The bathroom area is actually shared between the two rooms. If we come in through the bathroom, then you get this other sleeping area. There's no windows, so you can't technically call it a bedroom. But the square footage, again, is definitely there. There's closets. It's functional. There's actually an independent doorway that your guests or anyone else can come in through without bothering the people living on the main area. And as we walk out here, we come to another studio. This studio is very, very well lit. There's uh, four huge windows out here uh, facing a tennis court. And uh, it's got its own bathroom. It's got its own sink. There's a mini fridge. And uh, it's got its walking closet here. Thank you very much for watching this walkthrough. And if you like this home, please come and take a look at it yourself in person. I'm sure you'll be stunned by how beautiful it is. And if you have any other real estate needs, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. No matter if you want to buy, sell, rent, renovate, or build an ADU, or do some sort of architectural design, we can help you. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.